Hello, lovely people. I welcome you to Christ Without Borders. Um, if this is the first time you're watching a video on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and then also click on the bell icon so that we are going to be notified of any video um, I post and then put over here. Now, today I want, just, I want to just talk to you about the importance of the Holy Spirit and how essential it is to the life of a believer. No, when when you when you are born again, you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The next step is the operation of the Holy Spirit. The next step is to get the Holy Spirit um, active in your life, uh, because we can't really do a lot uh, without the help of the Holy Spirit. The church was instituted uh, by God, and then as part of of that, he 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 sent the Holy Spirit, and that's why Jesus had to die. The main reason for him coming here on earth was to die and to return to his father and um, to release the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit took over the office of Jesus and the role of Jesus when he was here. Um, the healing, the miracles, the signs and wonders and all of that was, was powered by the Holy Spirit. And so when Jesus died, he said, when I die, I will send you the, the gifts. I was sending a gift from my father and then this gift he was talking about was the Holy Spirit. Every Christian needs the Holy Spirit to make it. You see, the reason why you stayed in that addiction for far too long, for four years, five years, for 10 years, 15, 20, who knows? The reason why you've not been able to come out of it is because you're trying to do it from the flesh. We saw in Israel so many times, God had to send them into exile so many times and when they had to turn he brought them back and he kept doing that why he had given them the law which was the law of moses yet they still struggled to obey they still struggled to follow it and so in god's infinite wisdom he released the holy spirit through the death of jesus so that what he's going to be a helper and then when you read uh, the new testament in john 16 verse 13 to 15 it's clear over there and jesus told us that when the spirit comes he's on not he is, he is, he's going to lead you into all truths. He's going to show you things that are to come. As a, he's going to reveal to you what is to come. And then in the time like this and in this year of 2022, there's a lot of things ahead of us uh, that with time I will share the little that God has revealed to me. But um, what I want to do is inform and urge and help us that we should get closer and we should get a stronger bond and connection with the Holy Spirit. We need that connection because without that, it's, it's going to be very difficult. Even obeying the Ten Commandments, coming out of addictions, coming out of certain sins that, that plague us so often, we need the Holy Spirit. Now, when you read, now when you read the Bible, it says what? Um, uh, he led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. Everything you see in that scripture is the Holy Spirit leading a man who has availed himself, who has yielded himself to be led by the Holy Spirit. And so because he's being led by the Holy Spirit, all of these things start happening in the life of the believer. There is an issue here on earth now. There are churches packing thousands, packing millions of people nationwide, worldwide, and are not telling them about the Holy Spirit. Are not placing emphasis on how important the Holy Spirit is. This human flesh, the Bible tells us and makes us understand, the flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. And if who anybody who wants to take control and take charge of this human body you need the holy spirit others are doing with other spirits strange spirits the human body only knows sin because it was born into sin now to take control of the body and move it in a way to be, keep it away from the from sin from destruction you need to be rolling and moving in the holy spirit now, how do you get the Holy Spirit in action? One of the most important tools to get the Holy Spirit in action is by feeding on the Word of God daily. 
is by eliminating things that fight and contend with the word of God and then feed yourself more with things that are connected to the word of God. By doing your quiet time, allowing yourself when you are called for the midweek service, participating in prayers personally and then when the church calls for it. But there are a lot of churches who are not speaking and telling people about the Holy Spirit. Nobody is teaching these people about the night gift of the Spirit. This is the gift Jesus left. This is the gift Jesus promised his people when he died on the cross. He said, when I go, I will send the helper. The Holy Spirit is that helper. It's a helper that Jews did not have. And so they went, a lot of them went into captivity. They went into slavery so many times over and over and over. And God in his wisdom released Jesus to be the solution. Now, the Holy Spirit is still here on earth trying to help people, bring people, teach people, grow people, and, 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 and let, let them understand. All the things we saw Jesus do, the manifestations of the Spirit, the healing, all of that is in the Holy Spirit. And any man, any woman, any person, any Christian who is not working with it, these manifestations is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. now, the Bible tells us uh, having the form of godliness by denying the power thereof. There are churches packing thousands, millions of people, and are not even encouraging them to read the Bible on their own. It's a big problem. And so in Hosea 4 verse 6, the Bible tells us that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. For lack of knowledge, my people fall and go to hell. They were, they were in church, but they end up and they discover all this while, I missed it. The old knowledge are we talking about is talking about the Bible, and you say what? And you say what? The word, the word is what is a light, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When the word is present, it will direct every Christian into the right path, into the truths, into the revelations of God. Even understanding the Bible, they read, and it all has to sit. It all centers on the Bible. The Bible, the Word of God, is a fuel for the Holy Spirit to move, to speak, to do everything. There are people in church, been in church for five years, been in church for ten years, and they have never read the Bible from Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation before. And so I'm just sharing a little, a little with you. And so start building on this. There's a lot of a lot ahead in this year. I'm just we're still praying, but there's a lot ahead, and as. And on my on the other videos I'm going to release later, I'm going to talk about these things. I'm going to share with you some of these things that have been shown, so that we can be uh, prepared. It's a time, a season of preparation, preparing for the coming of Christ. You know. So this is where I'll end today's message. Thank you very much. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe because I have a lot of more and uh, many more interesting videos coming up. Thank you. And God richly bless you.